now. This is a very, very short video. This video is a matter of making something a public record. My name is Lisa Muggeridge. I am not connected with Glynna, um, Graham Linehan, who is a writer for television, or with Posey Parker, outside the connection that has been forced by the fact that we are all part of, you know, we've all been targeted by trans activists. I live in West Yorkshire. Um, I have witnessed um, West Yorkshire Police now twice being, in, being used as a third party in covert harassment on behalf of trans activists who are engaged in trying to undermine safeguarding and preventing people discussing safeguarding and the rule of law. In addition to the 50,000 women targeted systematically on Twitter, in addition to the threats and the harassment that we are all targeted by for speaking up on this issue, I am deeply concerned that it is evident that West Yorkshire Police Force are currently not only disregarding basic safeguarding, are not only attempting to use their weight to pressure citizens in this way, but that they are being used very clearly as a third party in harassment of individuals discussing trans ideology and safeguarding. West Yorkshire Police should have firm guidance on that allows them to recognise when they are being used as a third party in harassment. So, for instance, Posey Parker was questioned as committing hate speech because she correctly stated what castration was, which is removal of the testes. Graham Linehan has been given a harassment warning which is not a caution, which is not a legal due process, and which has no legal backup. He has been given a harassment warning on behalf of somebody who is demonstrating all the behaviours he is accused of. This is clearly visible in a matter of public record. I am placing on record with this video and with a blog post to accompany it that I, as a British citizen and a West Yorkshire re resident, have now on two occasions seen West Yorkshire police being used as a third party to covertly harass separate, unconnected figures because of their discussion of trans rights activism and I believe that the time to treat them as a benign intermediary is over and I think we have to be looking at them as part of the network of organisations around MESMAC and around Mermaid's Gender. Mermaid's gender. Um, that's really all I have to say. I'm putting this on record. I'm leaving it where it is.